OK, will there be one last final twist? Last day of the home and away season in the history-making AFLW, and it's to Foley. Looking for Metcalf, floating in front with Sedgenary. Metcalf hands it to Randall. She's got a bit of X Factor about it. She curls the ball back. Here's Phillips, finds a bit of space for the first goal of the afternoon. She curls at home. The Crows are on the board, and it's the perfect start for the visitors. Plenty of family and friends, including her mum here today, no doubt. Cramey from behind, and oh, that's a strong mark. Courtney Cromie in a spot of bother. It looks like a head clash. Somehow Marinoff gets off the leash, finds a bit of space, loops it around, looking for Perkins. Got the sit. As casual as you like, Sarah Perkins for Sarah Perkins. 45 degree angle. Meg Hutchins, the player on the mark, and she gives that everything. And it's through. It's a goal. Perkins converts and it's the Crows back in front. We'll pump it back in. Killian was there waiting at the back. She eventually gets it. A quick snap. How does it bounce in the square? It's through for a goal. And after peppering and peppering, they eventually break through and they're back in front. Charging at the ball is Marinoff. Wheels round onto that left. Where's Perkins? Here she is, right at the drop of the ball. Great to see Perko get on the end of one of those. From directly in front, she sends it over the goal umpire's head and she is pumped up, Tex Perkins. Through the legs of Allen, Marinoff's there. Wins a free play on advantage, so Phillips takes it through the uh, arms that went of Gibson. Here's Holmes, here's Perkins, fires out the handball to McCormack and she can finish with a goal. What a beautiful handball there from Sarah Perkins, Perth, and then GWS last week. Winning form, uh, it certainly gives you a bit of confidence. McCormack to Perkins, it clears the head of Perkins and Livingston, but out the back on the left, Perkins, she squeezes it home. For a third goal. It again, kicks it out through Perkins. This is where she's so good at ground level. McIntosh does well to get there first, and she'll win a free. No, it's a free kick to Perkins today, that's for sure. Well, she absolutely loves the limelight, and she would dearly love a celebration here to put Adelaide back in front. It'd take everything she's got, and she delivers. Road worker for the Adelaide City Council gets up at 4.30 every morning to start work at 6. And she's given it off here to Phillips, who doesn't mind bombing them from 50. It's an open goal square. Oh, Erin Phillips has done it again. She's launched a bomb from 50. And the Crows are 10 points clear. Hatchard, former Adelaide Lightning player. She's going to poke it up and ask for the play. Oh, almost juggling it. It comes to Phillips. She curls it around. Oh, Erin oh, Phillips curls it, curls it and hooks it. And the Crows can now sense a spot in the grand final. So Sally Riley just pumps it long. King rises high. Off hands Randall. Quick smother though. Just trying to absorb the pressure here, the Pies defenders. Hutchins goes without it. Applying the tackle is Sedgenary. Randall's in there as well. They want the call. Oh, the ball. It is. And they get it. They lead it by 18 points. And this will be a gimme from the goal line. 50. So Jess Sedgenary to put the Adelaide Crows into a grand final. Now she's speedy in the pocket, and there it is. The Adelaide Crows Premiership dream is still alive. They came from seven points down at three-quarter time to win by 24 points. And for the Demons, they're down and officially out. The Crows breathing a big sigh of relief. They were tested and pushed all the way from a gallant... Collingwood.